so part two of first time going Vegas tips in a cave fail. As far as things to do, gamble, drink, party at lounges, clubs, whatever bars, all that good stuff. There's gond there's gondola rides at the Venetian. There's a mall, two malls. Um, one is in the Caesar's Palace, I think. Maybe, I think. But I know there's two malls. There's, a, there's the Bellagio Fountains. There's a volcano that erupts at the Mirage. There's the New York New York roller coaster. There's the arcade and the New York New York Hotel. There's Chippendales. There's the arcade that the Excalibur. There is the little circus show at Circus Circus. They also have like a theme park. Um, Stratosphere has rides. It also has a bungee jump. There's zip lining downtown Brooklyn. There's magic shows, including Chris Angel's Mind Freak. There's the Michael Jackson show. There's Eminem World, Hershey World, Coca Cola Store. And there's a whole bunch of women walking around half naked. There's people dressed up in different costumes. Elvis and all that sort of blob, Elmo, whatever. Um, there's pool parties, of course, day parties, night parties. There's, um, what else is there to do? There's a arcade at the Excalibur. There's the Titanic Museum and the Luxor. There's a shark tank, I think, downtown Brooklyn or whatever, where, like, it go down the slide and it goes to a shark tank. Um, there's a zoo or something like that, either in the Mirage or one of those hotels. I forget which one. Um, there's a lion and tiger exhibit, I think, at the MGM. Um, as far as transportation, there is the bus, there's the express, and then there's the local bus. There's cabs, there's Uber, there's the tram. Um, what else do y'all need to know about Vegas? Vegas is non-stop, like, it's like New York, like, it's just non-stop. Like, in the morning, there's people walking around, there's people at the pool, there's people gambling all hours of the day. There's shows going on. Um, go party, have fun, like, if that's your thing. If not, go to the spa, whatever. See the fountains, go ride a gondola, go look at the art in the Venetian, and stuff like that. Like, their artwork is so incredible. Um, go see a show. There are people out there that would try to get you into parties for free. Some of them are legit, some of them aren't, so be careful. Um, I personally say, like, if your child is under 15, I wouldn't suggest that you bring them to Las Vegas, even though, like, the Excalibur, New York, New York, Circus Circus, those are, like, hotels that are, like, cater to kids or whatever. I wouldn't bring them because, like, there you really can't do anything. So it's just like they'll be walking around the hotels, which is cool because each hotel has something to offer. And that'll be cool, but it's like they can't really do anything. And it's like they're going to be seeing half naked women and stuff like that, and drunk people and smoke and all that. So I would suggest it. And walking from hotel to hotel, like, it's just so much because, like, it's hot depending on when you go and like it could be like right next door but like it's so much walking like you're like 10 minutes and you're still not at the hotel that's right next door even though some of them are connected via like um moving walkway like the moving escalator thing but it's not an escalator it's just like a walkway but it moves um <laughs> Get drunk. It's Vegas. Get drunk if you drink. Um, Vegas is really awesome. Like, it's just so friggin' awesome. Like, it really is. Like, it's so awesome. And, um, bring money. 
I mean, like, Vegas isn't as expensive as people think, but it can be depending on where you stay. Like, the Venetian is freaking expensive. Um, but bring money to buy souvenirs or eat or whatever. Um, take pictures, take snaps, record, because it's awesome and, like, you want to remember your time in Vegas, you know? Like, the architecture of the hotels and things is just amazing to me. Like, the freaking Luxor is a, like, it's three buildings. There's the pyramid, and then there's two towers behind that, and that's all the Luxor selects. So One hotel has three buildings. Ridiculous. The fact that it's a freaking pyramid, though, like, the, like the main building is, like, the pyramid, it's awesome. Like, how the heck did they even make that? And, like, before, like, years ago... In order to, like, get into the Luxor, you would have to get on a boat and, like, go through, through a moat. And it was so cool. Like, that's just freaking crazy that they used to do that. But, like, the elevators are called inclinators because they go up on a slant since it's a pyramid. And, like, your room, like, you look down and you can see into the atrium and it's just freaking crazy. And the fact that, like, like, Excalibur is freaking a castle, like, hello, you're a queen, you're a king, like, legit, you have your castle for, like, how many ever days, like, awesome, how cool, freaking Venetian is Venice themed, there's freaking gondolas, like, both inside and outside, and, like, there's a freaking mall or whatever, a couple of shops in there, and, like, they have a sky painted, and, like, it changes from light to dark as the night progresses, like, cool. So, yeah, just my tip, my main tip, go to Vegas, whether you gamble or don't, whether you drink or don't, whether you party or don't, because there's so much to do. Architecture is amazing. Have fun. It's Vegas. That's my main tip. Like, just go. Like, at least once. You have to go at least once. And my camera's, like, not focusing. And I don't know why. But, yeah. Go to Vegas. You'll have a pretty good time. And, like, some of these hotels have, like, freaking eight pools. Like, Caesar's Palace has, like, eight pools. Like, what? Why do you need eight pools? Crazy. But, yeah. Peace.